Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a lighthouse and an island and a house next to the lighthouse and also a dock as well, but primarily a lighthouse. I will of course show you how to make the entire inside and outside of the lighthouse and the actual house. The lighthouse is pretty cool, you can climb up to the top of it and actually walk around the outside. And the very small house off to the side actually has all of the amenities that one would need to live alone on a tiny island by themselves. Watch until the very end of the video to see where we place this build in our city. This is the amount of space required to make the lighthouse. We are preferably going to build this in water. So I would start off with these dimensions. One row above your waterline. Not level with the water, one row above it. And here are all of the materials that we will use throughout the build. Begin by placing five stone bricks on top of each other. One, two, three, four, five. Extend to the right by four. One, two, three, four. Extend in and to the right. And then back by four. One, two, three, four. Extend in and out and across by four. One, two, three, four. Extend in and then out. And then this way by four, one, two, three, four, and then connect back just like this. So you can see that we have this circular shape. Well, this circular shape is important as we can place an oak door here in this position and white concrete left and right of the door and also on all of the flat surfaces of the shape that we have just made. You can see that we have effectively made a circle, but it's, it's pretty much a square. We want to fill the center of this in with stone bricks, as this is actually going to be the inside of the lighthouse. And next, we are going to raise up every single white concrete by, by two. So one, two, one, two. We also want to extend across the top of the door as well. And this gives us the base of the lighthouse. Now that we have the base of our lighthouse, we can now add a layer of red concrete that sits above and inside of the top of the base. So this is undoubtedly a square. We then, on top of this red concrete block specifically, it lines up with the door, we place a glass block, followed by a red concrete, followed by a white concrete, glass block, white concrete, then red concrete, glass, red concrete, and then finally a light grey concrete, like this. We then simply match the colour of the concrete, including the glass row as well, and we extend that colour all the way around our lighthouse. So the first three rows are red concrete, the next three are white, and then the last three rows will of course be red again. Once we finally reach the top, we want to place a row of light grey concrete directly on top of our red concrete. We then want to extend each flat side of the light grey concrete layer outwards. This will once again form a kind of circular shape. We then want to place an oak door here in this position with white concrete left and right of the door, and then three white concrete here, one, two, three, three here, one, two, three, 
and free here, one, two, three. So you can see that once again, we have a, a slightly smaller circular-ish shape. We extend each one of the white concretes up by two, one, two, one, two, connect across the top of the door. Next, we will add a layer of smooth stone slabs around the top half of our light grey concrete layer. This will connect together in the corners. And then we will place oak fence on top of the smooth stone slabs. We will also place redstone torches. We will place one in the very centre of each one of the sides, leave a gap and then place another torch along each one of the flat sides. So we will have three torches on each side. If you like, start with the centre and then simply leave a gap of one in between the centre torch on each one of the sides. Next, we want to grab our shroom line and place a layer of shroom line inside and above our white concrete. We then want to extend our shroom light up by three rows. One, two, three. One of the more satisfying blocks to place. Like this. We are then going to cover the sides of the shroom light with white stained glass. Next, we are going to place a layer of light grey concrete around the base of our white stained glass, like this. We are then going to place stone brick slabs around the top of the top layer of glass. We don't want this to connect together in the corners, this just sits along the outside. We then add a layer of stone brick stairs on each one of the four sides on top of our glass. The stairs face outwards. We are then going to stick a layer of light grey concrete inside of this, extend the centre block up and then place stone brick slabs around the light grey concrete. We then place a stone brick wall on top of the light grey, a lantern on top of that. Next, we are going to return to the base of the lighthouse. The first thing that we must do is add a layer of stone bricks all the way around the base. The stone bricks want to connect together in the corners to form a circular shape. We then want to extend the three centre stone bricks at the front of the lighthouse like this with a layer of stone brick stairs in front of this. We then want to place rows of stone bricks and stone brick stairs slowly leading down to the island. Just like this. So we will also want to add stone bricks underneath our stairs as well. We are then going to add stone all the way around the outside of the top of our stone brick circle. We then place a cobblestone wall on top of the stone. We then grab lanterns and place lanterns here and here and also in the same position on the back. We now want to extend all of our stone blocks down to our island. Next, we are going to shape the base. We will place rows of three, one, two, three stone at the front here, with a single stone poking up like this on the right side. We'll do the same thing on the left as well, so one, two, three, extend the middle up. 
On the left side only, we will kind of extend the center up a bit. We'll extend up by three rows, and then we'll extend the center row just up like this. So we'll kind of just have a little bit of a curve. And I mean, you don't really have to do it on the back, but yeah, that, let's let's do the exact same thing on the back as well. So three rows of stone, and then just one final row on top. It's just one row shorter on both sides. And then we will leave this side alone. Let's move up inside of the lighthouse now, and let's actually make the staircase system. The first thing that we could do to actually benefit us is to kind of close in these walls just at the base of the lighthouse. Of course, matching the color, which is white. I don't know why I grabbed red, but I did. And this will just make it a little bit easier to place these stairs. So now everything is the same as we extend all the way up to the top. And what we want to do is start the stairs here on this right side. So right in the middle, we place a stone brick stair with a stone brick slab here. So just above. We then place a stair here with a slab above like this. So you can see the reason that we have placed it this way is so that we can still get in and out of the lighthouse. And it, it's about as complicated as that. So you then place the stair at the same level as the slab really, and then the slab half a row higher. Uh, you may find it easier to place all of these stairs first. I actually do. So all of the, the stairs, as you rotate around the lighthouse, they are always in the middle and uh, they're one row higher than each other. So, like, the next stair is always one row higher than the previous stair. I find it just easier to place that first, and then you can add the slabs as you then just try and walk up the stairs. And the slabs just poke out of the front of the stairs as we reach up every step. And then we place a slab here and here, and we should still be able to climb down, just like this. If you don't like this effect at the top of the lighthouse, all of this light, although this, this does provide light for us, we can cover this up with slabs. Um, I'd recommend some smooth stone slabs, and there we go. So we can now get up and down our lighthouse, as demonstrated by the fact that we just had to build a staircase as we walked up it. Next, we are going to work on the lighthouse keeper's house. So this is placed directly to the right of the base of the lighthouse, and we want to count in and find the first, second, third stone. And from here, we will place three, one, two, three, white terracotta extending outwards. Dig in the ground to the right and place a spruce plank with a spruce door on top. Whilst we're at it, stick a glass block here and then directly to the door place another white terracotta. We then want to extend backwards by nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we want to extend across and we just want to join back like this. So we will extend into the actual uh, the stone itself. So next we are going to add another layer of white terracotta just like this and then we are going to add a layer of spruce planks on top of the long side of our white terracotta. We'll extend the spruce planks one row forwards like this, stick a spruce slab here and then we will extend these slabs left and up and left and up and left and up and left and up, just like so, so they connect back to this wall. We then want to fill this face of the house in, so the front of the house like this, and the back of the house, we are going to add a window here, so we will remove this block, stick a glass here. I'm wondering whether we should connect to the, I, I kind of want to keep this shape here. So we're just going to follow the same uh, principles as we did on the front. So we'll add, we'll extend the spruce planks off here, add the slab here, and then we will extend the slabs inwards and upwards. But the, the thing with the back is that we can, we can keep going. There's nothing to actually stop us. So I think that we will connect these together, these planks here, and then I think let's let's extend up these terracottas and see where this leads us. And then let's just add a row of spruce planks just like this that just sits on top of that extra row of terracotta that we don't have on the front. We then want to extend and connect these spruce 
planks together from the front to the back and then we can extend and connect all of the spruce slabs together front to back as well. We are then going to come inside of the house and we will remove all of the grass blocks and we are going to replace those with spruce planks just like this. But not only that, we are going to remove the stone wall here and that would make such a cool hidden base if we were doing that. And we will fill this wall in with white terracotta. I did also consider this, and I'll, I'll let you guys uh, be the judge on whether you prefer this. I did consider adding spruce stairs underneath here and here just to kind of shape the roof a little bit. But that's, that's kind of a personal preference sort of deal. We also need to separate the inside of the house a little bit. So if we stick a doorway here, we want to, we actually, we want to leave two rows from the back. So one, two, and then we want to create a dividing wall. So we will have white terracotta, spruce door, and then white terracotta extending to the left. And then we actually just have to remove some of the stairs that we've placed and just create a dividing wall just like this. As this is kind of like the main living space. And then we just have a bathroom at the back of the build. In front of the house, I'm just going to place some poppies. And in front of the door, I'm going to leave a gap and then place a stone. Leave a gap, place a stone. Leave a gap, place a stone. Along the right side of the build, we will place a row of oak leaves that extends just one row out of the front and one row out of the back and if you like you can just add a layer of poppies just around the back as well. There is also a dock that we can place on the front of the island so this is optional. It lines up with these stairs and underneath the grass we can place one, two, three spruce planks like this. We can then extend them forwards by five rows. One, two, three, four, five. Extend this plank up by one and place a spruce fence here so we can tether a boat to this if we so choose. So depending upon how deep your water is, I would also build the plank into the actual area that this is. So it's unlikely that your water is as deep as this. I think that this goes like 80 blocks down, which is unusual, but you could extend it down at the uh, a little bit at the very least. Maybe even stick a lantern here as well. I think that that looks cool. I also want a tree on my island as well. So this is placed diagonally from this corner. One, two, and then here, just right behind my chest. One, two, three. Oak wood on top of each other. We then surround that top oak wood with oak leaves. Add another layer on top. And then we create a plus shape on the top of our leaves like this. And it's just a nice classic looking tree. With the majority of our island made, we are now going to head inside of our house and decorate it. So first of all, we will stick a bed here with some green carpet to the right. We will then place an oak stair here and in front of it an oak fence and on top of that an oak pressure plate. We will then place two block of iron on top of each other just to the right with stone buttons in front of the iron, a lantern here and then a cauldron with a trip wire hook above it just off to the right. On this wall, we will stack up a few rows of bookshelves like this. Uh, I did consider bringing them all the way to the door, but it feels a little bit too crowded, but I think that this is a nice, perfect balance. And one last thing, I think that maybe like one of these paintings would also look good in here. I don't know why, I think it just adds a bit of life. That one kind of like matches the colour palette, so perhaps go with this. Now, this leads us into the bathroom. Here we will have a toilet, that's an upside down smooth quartz stair with a spruce trap door on top of it. To the right, a cauldron with a trip wire hook, that's a sink. And then on this wall, two polished and inside stairs. Lever here, tripwire hook here, and that's a bath. Uh, we can also add some green carpet in front of this as well, just as a bath mat. And well, that, that's, it. that's it really. The last very minute detail that you may want to do is shape the island a little bit. So we remove this corner block here, and then two rows this way, one, two, and two rows this way, one, two. And it kind of just curves the island. So this block here in the corner, one, two, one, two. And finally, there we go. 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make a lighthouse slash island slash dock slash house slash everything that we've made in this video. This tutorial is now complete, however this video is not over. We must now add our lighthouse and everything else into our city. There's actually only one place it makes sense to have a lighthouse in Mini City, and that is just off of the beach. That is where the ocean is meant to be. However, in its current state, the ocean isn't very big, so we are going to have to extend it a little bit. Just for now, we will have to make this far larger in the future, and also remove our current slash much tinier lighthouse. This one is far more impressive. And that is that, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Click that little bell next to the subscription button to ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. If you would like to make anything else by me, please check the description below for the Mini City Builds playlist. We have over 100 builds in there for you to enjoy. Alternatively, the sidebar, hopefully the next upcoming video, YouTube, or just check the channel. Consider becoming a channel member today and you will gain access to a cool avatar next to your name, some unique emojis, and access to my mini city design world containing every single build that has been added to mini city to date. This is well over a hundred builds, all chronologically ordered. Java edition only. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.